What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year's to everybody. Hope everyone had a safe and awesome holiday. Today's video is gonna be a little different. We're not doing an install on this car here, but this video is more for me. I wanna do this at the end of every year moving forward, just to kind of highlight my goals that I have for the coming year and to look back on the year that has passed and see that what I accomplished and what I did. That's the purpose of this video. I understand this is not something that everyone might enjoy watching, but this is mostly for me, so that's why I'm doing this. What I'm gonna highlight is goals that I have, not personal goals in my life. You guys don't wanna hear stuff like that. These are goals I have for my car, my bike, my garage, and whatnot. Those are the kind of things I'll put on YouTube. I'm not gonna put my personal goals and stuff like that on YouTube. So, I bought this car in 2021. I bought this August of 2021. In 2022, I started off the year by completely redoing my interior. So last winter, what I was doing was I replaced the leather on the seats, I removed all of the tweed that was inside the vehicle from factory, and I installed suede. I also replaced the steering wheel with a, another OEM steering wheel, but that was freshly wrapped with new leather. I changed the shift knob and the e-brake, just OEM again, just to bring it back to life. I bought new wheels for this. I bought the Cosmos XT 006 Rs. It's a staggered stance right now. Back is a lot wider than the front. I needed that for the wide body. Speaking of the wide body, so in 2022, about March, I began my Twin Z build on this car. It took a lot of months, but I had that completed this year as well, just near the end of summer. So I didn't really drive it much because it was being worked on all summer, but I started and completed the whole Twin Z overhaul on this car. I pretty much dialed in the whole exterior of this car in one go. I did all of it. I wanted to finish all of that at the same time, so I did the whole exterior of this car in 2022. As far as even changing the moldings on the car and even repainting the windshield wiper arms. I went to that extent. So I did everything on the exterior. That was a goal I had at the beginning of 2022 to get the Twin Z stuff on this car and that's what I did. If this is the first video of mine that you guys are seeing, make sure you check out the other videos on this car if you wanna check out the installs I've done to the interior and stuff like that. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. Right now, I'm not gonna show you any of that. I'm just gonna sit here and talk to this camera. So if you wanna check that stuff out, make sure you check out the other videos. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you subscribe. And just in the last couple months, stuff that I've done to this car that has been recorded and is on this channel, if you check the previous videos, I did a whole trunk upgrade and I installed a LED kit for the interior. I changed every single bulb in this car to LED. Looks amazing now. I was really happy with that install. I even installed some gauge rings on the cluster at the same time while I had the dash apart. So that's on this channel as well. Also what I did was last winter when I was changing out the tweed and installing the suede, I messed up the door panels. I redid them about a week ago. And I also installed armrests at the same time. So I've done a lot of work to this car this year. It was a pretty busy year for this car. There was not a lot of driving that happened because it was constantly in pieces, but I'm pretty happy with it. And I honestly can't wait till the summer so I can get this thing out and drive it because I'm not doing anything major this summer. This summer, I am just driving it. That is what I'm doing this summer. So I can't wait for this snow to go away. We got maybe, what, three, four, four more months before I can get this thing on the road and I can't wait. Another thing I did this year was I got a motorcycle license at the beginning of the summer. I knew how to ride a motorcycle a little bit. I was a beginner, I still am a beginner, but I didn't have a license. <laughs> so I got my motorcycle license this summer and I bought my very first motorcycle. It's a 2018 Yamaha R6. If any of you have been around since my first video, you, you've heard that before. I did mention it in my very first video. None of you have seen it yet. You're not gonna see it until the summer, until I pull it out. It's stored right there. So it's a 2018 Yamaha R6, pretty much brand new bike. It's stock, it's completely stock, hasn't been touched. So I spent a lot of this summer riding my motorcycle because I couldn't drive this thing. I got pretty good at riding it. This is my first sport bike that I rode. So I tried getting as much kilometers on it as I could to get comfortable with it. And I am pretty comfortable with it now. So I know a lot of people say a 600cc motorcycle is not a good first bike. 
I wanted to buy a bike that I wasn't gonna outgrow in a year and then have to change bikes or something like that. So I went with a 600cc. If you're careful with it, if you know your limits, you're gonna, you're gonna be fine. Everyone's gonna have mixed opinions about that, but I'm very happy with my, my decision. I love that bike. Yeah, so that was one of my accomplishments in 2022 that I'm pretty happy about, the motorcycle. So that's pretty much all for 2022 regarding my car and my motorcycle. Now, on to 2023. So this year, we got big plans. So first, let's get the motorcycle out of the way. I'm gonna show you guys the motorcycle as soon as the weather's nice. And what I wanna do is, I wanna do a build on my bike. Not something crazy, it's not gonna be something crazy, but it's gonna be, we'll, we'll, we'll do some installs on the bike. I wanna do some riding videos, and I wanna get good at filming on my bike. Stuff like that, that's what I wanna do. So with the bike, my goal is to get better at riding. Maybe take it on a trip or something. It's not comfortable on a trip. It's a sport bike, but we'll see. So my goal for my bike is not nothing crazy. I just want to get better at riding and I want to build my bike a little bit. We'll see how that goes. Now for this car, I have big plans for this car this year. If you guys have been watching my videos, I've mentioned a few times that I do want to turbo this car. It is an NA. So honestly, I bought the turbos a month ago. I already have the turbos. I gotta buy the piping and all that stuff, but I do have the turbos already. They're sitting right there. My goal is to turbo this car. I wanna redo the engine bay at the same time. I wanna completely redo the engine bay. I wanna do a wire tuck. I wanna clean up the engine bay, maybe paint it, probably paint it. Knowing me, once I have everything out of there, I'm probably gonna wanna paint it and shave that engine bay, but we'll see how that goes. But I am gonna turbo this car and I'm gonna do a few other small things throughout the course of the year. I'm not gonna list them out for you guys. You guys will just have to uh, follow along and see what I, what, I, uh, what I do. But the main thing that I will tell you guys is I'm gonna turbo this car. My goal is 450 horsepower at the very least. So that's my biggest goal for 2023 is to get a turbocharger in this. I'm not gonna start that build in the summertime because like I said, I didn't get to drive my car too much last summer because of the body kit. So as soon as I park it in the winter, probably about October, that's when I'm gonna get this engine out and uh, start that turbo build. So in October, you can definitely expect a lot of videos coming with this turbo build. I'm not gonna do an engine swap. I'm gonna turbo the NA engine and I'm not gonna use E85 because for those of you that know I'm in Canada, there's barely any E85 here. There isn't any actually in my city. So I'm gonna keep it 93 octane and we're gonna turbo this thing. So we're gonna do it right. We're gonna do it safe, but we are gonna turbo it. We're gonna turbo the NA block. I do also have a couple other goals. These goals are for this channel. So I started YouTube about two months ago because I wanted a place to showcase my hobby and I was pretty camera shy. I never liked being in pictures. I never like being in videos. I wanted to put myself out of my comfort zone and I am getting better as I make more videos. So I'm pretty happy about that. But my goal for 2023 is gonna be to get better at recording, get better with my video quality. And um, a couple of you have commented on previous videos where my sound isn't great. The music gets too loud and stuff like that. So. I wanna get better at recording. I wanna get very good at editing. I wanna grow this channel a little bit. I wanna put out better quality content for you guys and for myself. I also mentioned in the end of one of my videos that my goal for this year is to get to a thousand subscribers. That is a huge goal for me because I never thought I would even end up with 300 subscribers, to be honest, which is what I have now. I've never even had 100 likes on a Facebook photo or something that I've ever posted, to be honest. So 300 subscribers is crazy to me, but we're gonna keep moving up. We're gonna, we're gonna keep setting the bar high and seeing what we can do. So that's what I'm all about. I wanna get better at things. I don't wanna, I wanna get better at this. I wanna put a little more time into this. I do have a full-time job. I can't put, I'm not a, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I don't think I ever, ever will be. I'm almost certain I never will be, nor do I want to be. I, I want this to be a weekend thing for me. I want to get to a thousand subscribers. I have a good surprise for this channel if I, if I get to a thousand subscribers, I think. I want to see how far I can take this channel in 2023. That being said, I'm not going to dedicate more time to it per se. I don't think. Who knows? But I'm gonna do do it on the weekends like I usually do and see see what we can do. So that's my channel goal for 2023. So that's pretty much all I got for this video. It's just a quick one. I just wanted to put my goals out there. I just wanted to highlight the things I've done 
in 2022. Nothing crazy, but you know what? For me, it was good. It was a good year, and I'm gonna try making 2023 another good year. Thank you guys so much for everything. Thank you guys so much for the support that you showed me when I started this channel. I really appreciate it. I'm going from it. The more videos I do, the more I learn, and the more things I do to this car, the happier it makes me. Because whether I record it or not, I'm always gonna do stuff to this car. So that's where we're at. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content so far. I hope 2023 is a great year for everybody. Yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys again.